Oh, this can be that guard. Whoa. Not the prediction. We are seeing Anality pull out a Ken to start. Yeah. Um, and immediately just throwing out that fireball. That to me says that Anality's thinking, I'm going to get in. You're going to play Zoni. It's going to take me a while to get in. But then I'm going to get in. I'm going to get a solid combo and a half. Yeah, and just go for that. You know, sure you can. Uh, holding the grenade, making some snake gameplay there. Yeah, a uh, fighting game character with a banjo grenade in hand, that's terrifying. There's, that is more combo potential than I want to contemplate. And again. Hey, grabbing it a second time and just using the reluctance by Solid Gamer there to again get that combo off that you were talking about. Yeah, and Solid Gamer is just, you know, keeping options covered and again trying to retreat upwards, trying to get these aerial options going and trying to pressure from some familiar angles in the neutral. But Anality maneuvering through it very well and not letting that be as much of an option as we normally see. I think Battlefield is contributing to that because of the platform layout as well. But there it is. There's those angles we were talking about for that pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just keeping vertically above Anality there and then dropping as much as possible on top of them. You know, I, the movement is, is incredible too, because I feel like outside of when there's a ledge situation, I could draw a line on my screen at 135 degrees from anality at all times, and like 90% of the time, that's where solid is going to be. And that is the first stock, just not able to hit the recovery there, unfortunately, for anality, and just getting poked out by these eggs now, having to make the approach. Yeah, and being a stock down as well too. Now the now solid, you know, having that lead doesn't have any reason to approach whatsoever. Can 100% play that keep away game. Going for an aggressive grab though instead, and is going to take the stock for it. And now they're taking a perfectly timed command grab there to more or less even things out. Or not command grab, a spot dodge to grab. That's what I'm looking for. And again, grenades and eggs just coming all over that platform. Uh, this time it was almost Solid who didn't have the recovery there. Went a little bit low that time and had to use that uh, air dodge to be able to get back to the ledge. Um, but Anality giving plenty of room there. Oh, you, have to you respect can't be too confident. Plan. You have to respect I mean, the dedication to the plan. Got the Wonder Wing shut down by the Hadoken and just rails the second one. It didn't work out, but the, the, the doubling down, that's, that's where the perspective is. Yeah, and that's a thing that we've seen from Solid, just like, I got a Wonder Wing? Okay, let me turn around and use another one. Like we were saying, like, you want to conserve the economy of those, but like, you don't expect another Wonder Wing to come out immediately. Yeah, well, it's like, it's the double F smash all over, like, wait, but even worse, like, like, even more polarizing, because, like, the double F smash is one of those things, like, oh, I whipped an F smash, I should probably pick a defensive option because I'm going to get punished, but some players will just rail out a second F smash, and if the opponent didn't time their approach or their punish, you know, well enough, it's caught by the second one. Wonder Wing kind of pulls that same methodology, but you're also burning a resource, so it's even more something that they're not going to be expecting. Not to monster there, you counter with an F smash now. So, uh, Solid now is stocking the lead once again. That was actually, uh, 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 an up smash into another up smash after the Tazumaki took the first one. Um, so kind of that same thing you were talking about. Tried for the Tazumaki, or er, tried for the up smash, got hit by the Tazumaki, and then, you know, just went for it again. And that time it worked out. Yeah, it's not something a lot of players look for. A lot of players won't expect you to throw that same option out again after it, uh, after it gets beat out. So, you know, little mind games like that can go a long way. Again, uh, so yeah, and Anality just maybe over committing to when they think they see 
the first little opening. Uh, and that's going to be the last stock there. While Solid still has two stocks left. Uh, again, Solid going to have to make a climb right here. Because this is Grand Finals. And we'll need the reset. But first game win pretty solidly. Yeah, yeah. First game went pretty solid. And the you did see the the Analities thinking there. I mean, there was, you know, at least for that first stock, Analogy got in, got some solid pressure out, and then was able to punish and take a stock as soon as that whiff grab happened. But the approach was just... In the end, it was more than Analogy could really pull off with Ken. And you saw even on that last stock, I mean, Solid was even going to the point of burning those resources, the grenade, the extra pop-up of momentum from the grenade, the extra double jumps off stage where Ken realistically doesn't have a whole lot of options. And just buying time out there and applying Three, pressure because Analogy one, needed to sit there to, to be able to punish, to, to not let Analogy refresh those resources by touching ledge or by touching ground. And this time we are seeing the Ryu pulled out by Analogy. Got those big fireballs, a little bit more useful for taking out projectiles, uh, which is something we saw earlier uh, today with a um, against Bryav, actually, uh, who Solid was able to knock out of the tournament. Uh, lots of snake grenades and whatnot. And now he pulled out the uh, Ryu and just the constant fireballs. Plus, that that just down tilt, that leg sweep, that is something you don't want to get hit by because, again, that combo potential. Yeah, and this is something we see Analogy switching to pretty frequently versus the uh, Zonier members of the cast just because you can kind of beat out a lot of projectiles, things of that nature. Oh, try to go for the launch pad right there point blank. That is not going to work out. Analogy setting up a short Yukon off of that combo. And yeah, the, the Ryu pick definitely looking to work out a little bit better than the Ken was. Holding the shield just right and able to punish that jab. A little bit too much commitment from Solid there. Yep, the Wonder Wing though from Solid. Sending Analogy back out. Another respectable chunk of damage there. One thing to think about here too is Analogy, or I'm sorry, Solid didn't burn a lot of Wonder Wings in that first stock. This is a couple of feathers you mentioned that could be game changers, but getting a lot of value off of the rest of them here. So that may just be enough. Had to burn the air dodge put Solid in a bad position for that recovery and gave a little bit more hits off to Anality, evening up that percentage. Yeah, and now Solid is actually trying to close the distance here to find the stock. Not able to hit that up top there. The delayed mash is going to get Anality out unscathed. But you know, you've got to be worried about it every time that grab gets sent over. Oh, a down tilt to Tatsumaki, though. Analogy instead taking another stock here. Yeah, the down tilt to the Tatsumaki was one that we actually uh, saw during the Briya fight as well a lot. Um, again, just that down tilt is a very solid option, moving a little bit extra percentage into some combos, making the grenade explode on the flaming uh, banjo. Excellent job getting some extra percentage off there. Yeah, yeah, and this, uh, this constant Hadoken pressure is stopping Solid from doing a whole lot more besides the regular chip damage. Just jumping up there into the, I think that was up air comboed into the Shoryuken. Not going to kill, but that Wonder Wing punish will. One more Wonder Wing on shield, and that was Solid uh, losing game two there, so we are... Uh, Going to 1-1 one, one stock count. And yeah, the Ryu definitely looking a lot fiercer here and, and definitely addressing the game plan that Solid has been putting forth all night. But this is an opportunity for Solid to be swapping up characters now and uh, swapping up stage as well, uh, which is something Solid is known for, keeping the other person on their toes by switching things up. Anality, though hopping over as well could just signify stage change but i get the feeling we're gonna see something else from them yeah and while they're choosing i want to point out too something we've been talking about this the, the game plan that saw has been going for which is about to change because they picked incineroar uh and that's pretty different but we've been talking about that game plan and using those diagonal angles and it seems pretty simple on paper when you put it that way 
But you'd be, for, you'd be surprised how effective your gameplay can get when you do have a game plan like that, even if it's a simple one, and you stick to it. A lot of players, they you know, they, they stick to a game plan for a while, it starts to work, they get they get a little uh, a little big in the head, they start getting a little too confident and trying to mix things up when they don't need to necessarily. And uh, you see that result in players, you know, throwing away games they could have won. You'd be surprised how effective it can be if you just develop your game plan, know exactly what you're looking for, and stick to it. Yeah, and that's something I think Solid is really good at, just like finding what they want to do and just going for it hard. Uh, like we said, sometimes going like same move twice in a row because they're confident they can make it work and often it working out for them. Oh no, didn't quite catch the ledge. Yeah, we are seeing something a little different game plan wise over here with the Incineroar coming out. Uh, the first stock going over to Analogy there because the cross chop did not quite make it back to the stage. But you know, Incineroar a character that can take stocks pretty early. Hey, kind of like that, actually. So still could go either direction this game. Classy move by Solid Gamer, letting the taunt come completely out after the hit as well. Might cost them here, honestly. Yeah, Ryu able to land that punch and get the stun off of it and then combo through that. Put some heavy, heavy percentage on to the Incineroar there. Solid Gamer now down a stock. Anality has only lost one. Yeah, you know, I see where the Incineroar, you know, maybe felt like an attractive option here after the way that this Ryu was playing into the banjo and the way that was kind of counteracting that game plan. But by being Incineroar here, you're kind of playing Anality at the distance that they're comfortable with. You know, this is this is exactly where they want you to be. They want you to be up close like this so they can get those big combos off and take those big stock taking off faster there. and not have to worry about all that zoning. So. But there is oh, that dead. revenge popping out and then immediately into that command grab that Incineroar has. It's going to be a lot of damage. Revenge plus the Alolan whip there, that was enough overkill for two stocks. So that, that, was, that was so much more than was necessary. But hey, you take the hit that you know you can get. So the command grab was the one they were able to find. And you know, the, the power boost is just icing on the cake. It's amazing how well Anality knows which option to go out of from these down tilts and make sure it hits. Yeah, yeah. It, Anality makes it look like it combos every time, all the time, but I'm telling you, like, it's not quite that easy playing these characters. Down tilt string into the Shoryuken there, and Anality is going to take game from game three now. Game three. Right? I'm so. second guessing all of my counting tonight. If Anality can land this last game, that will be it for the tournament. Solid now has to make a hard climb uh, to reset this and then win the next set. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to see the Incineroar come back out after that. Definitely felt pretty decisive. Well, that shows what I know. Going Never right mind. Back into the Incineroar. You know, sometimes you just want a salty run back. You're like, I see what went wrong there. I know what's going to happen next. Um, yeah. And sometimes that's uh. Sometimes you just you just gotta believe. Wait, hold on. Anality pulls off. Ready? And right back in. I wonder if Anality didn't change the stage last time because it's set to like loser pick stage, and now Anality had to go back and switch the stage to the appropriate one. Three, two, one, go! All right, here we go. Game four. The tournament, the first place is on the line here. Anality takes this, and they get first. Solid needs to find a win here to make it happen. And on a character that, you know, as much as we were just talking about Solid's game plan and sticking to your game plan, uh, this is a uh, very different from what Solid has been playing for most of the night. So we'll have to see if it pays off. Was doing a lot about controlling the interaction from the beginning, but still losing percentage on them and already losing out on the first stock. That's going to hurt. And Especially that was a making. Really charge focus back this much commitment to it. Yeah, a fully charged focus attack, man, I'm telling you, a Shoto can land that on you at any stock, and you're, 
probably dead. Well, okay, I lied, because there's another one, and it didn't result in stock, but it was a solid amount of damage. Another one! Finality really leading into this tool here to rack up the damage. Which is not something you see a lot out of these Street Fighter characters, because it's such a dangerous move to pull off. Yeah, but at this point, you know. You know that Gamer is solid once these big hits to land and needs to be able to get through your projectile pressure to land them. The most likely way they're gonna do that is with an aerial, and all of the similar aerials are single hits that will get beat out by the armor on that focus attack. And this time, Solid was able to finally get out of one of those leg sweep combos, um, but still losing out in that interaction in the end. Another turnaround with that hit. Focus attack after focus attack, and now he's charging him. Again? Okay, that one didn't land. I was, I was about to say, there's a limit. There's a limit. Yeah, a good crossover by Solid there, and then able to find the kill off of that. And this is against a character that has a command grab, too. I mean, a character that absolutely can pick an option to beat that, so you really gotta be sure you're picking the right option when you go for that focus attack, but Analogy has, uh, has been correct four times in so far. Going so in, trying to just nerf that recovery. And that's going to be the stock coming back in from the ledge there. Analogy finds the final kill and takes this tournament against Solid Gamer, pulling in second place and 44 underscore sliding in to third. And in style in that last match there too. I mean, it was looking close.